Longitudinal research is a method of study where researchers observe the same group of people over an extended period of time. This type of research is useful for examining changes and developments that occur over months, years, or even decades. For example, it comes in handy for studying things like aging, career development, or the long term effects of certain habits. Unlike shorter studies, longitudinal research can capture patterns that only emerge after extended observation. Now let's look at some examples to understand this better. Imagine a researcher studying the academic progress of students from kindergarten through high school. By tracking the same group of students for 12 years, the researcher could see how different factors, like family support or school quality, impact academic achievement over time. This kind of long-term data helps reveal patterns in how children learn and develop. Another example could involve studying the health habits of a group of adults from their 30s to their 60s. The researcher could follow these individuals to understand how lifestyle choices, such as exercise and diet, influence their health as they age. By observing the same group for several decades, the researcher could pinpoint how early habits affect long-term health outcomes. In both examples, longitudinal research allows researchers to capture long-term changes that wouldn't be visible in a short-term study. Now let's look at some strengths of longitudinal research. One major advantage is that it helps researchers track changes over time, giving a clearer picture of how variables influence outcomes in the long run. This method also allows for the observation of developmental trends such as how people grow or change across different life stages. Another strength is that longitudinal research can identify cause and effect relationships more effectively than shorter studies as it tracks the same participants, reducing variables that might otherwise confuse the results. However, longitudinal research is not without its limitations. One limitation is that it can be very time-consuming and expensive as researchers must follow participants over many years. Another issue is that participants might drop out over time, leading to incomplete data or smaller sample sizes as the study progresses. Additionally, this type of research can be limited by changes in the world or technology that might affect the study's relevance over time. For a detailed written introduction to longitudinal research, check out my article in the pinned comment. To learn about other research methods, have a look at the videos on the screen.